Welcome to Jamaica News Online. Here's what we have in the news today. Sergeant Arlene McBean said JDF officers should be able to defend themselves. Cops use forensic evidence to crack 2021 murder case. Yam head slapped with murder charge while on bail. The health official expresses concern about cancer deaths among youths. Details coming up right after this break. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button. And remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you Local law enforcement officials are being urged to defend themselves whenever they come under attack from criminals. Sergeant Arlene McPain, chairman of the Jamaica Police Federation, gave the charge as she delivered a tribute on behalf of the Federation during Saturday's Thanksgiving service for late Police Constable Ricardo Fairclaw. Fairclaw, who was assigned to the St. Anne Division Operational Support Unit, was shot in the parish capital on April 15. It is reported that he was on Bravo Street when a man shot and injured a woman. While attempting to assist the woman, Fairclaw was shot in the upper body. The slain policeman was born and raised in Litchfield, Trelawney. He moved to St. Anne as a young adult and later got married. He was the father of three children. Fairclaw was 44 years old at the time of his passing. Seraldo Butler was shot and killed during a confrontation with the police in relation to the shooting death of Fairclaw while 29-year-old or Shane Davis of Ulster Spring in Trelawney has been charged with murder, shooting with intent, possession of a prohibited weapon, and unauthorized possession of ammunition. In the meantime, McBean further stressed the importance of fostering a partnership between law enforcement and Jamaican citizens. She also urged that local social media influencers play a part by urging criminals to turn in their guns. Forensic evidence has played a crucial role in the arrest and charge of a man in relation to a December 18, 2021 incident along the Woodhall Main Road in Clarendon. Jubalani Dwyer, otherwise called Jabu, a 29-year-old laborer of Woodhall District, has been charged following the shooting death of 48-year-old Marlon Salmon, otherwise called Irons, bike mechanic of Denby Crescent, also in Clarendon, and the injury of another man. He is charged with murder, wounding with intent, and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Reports from the Maypen police are that about 8.15 p.m. Salmon was standing along the roadway when he was pounced upon armed by armed men who opened gunfire, hitting him several times. The police were alerted and on their arrival, Salmon was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. The police said that new development, including forensic evidence, led to Dwyer being charged last Saturday while in custody at a St. Andrew lockup on a separate charge of a similar nature. His court date is being finalized. Another man has been charged in relation to the March 30 shooting death of truck driver Winston Wheeler at his home in Days Mountain, Rockabessa, St. Mary. The latest accused is 29-year-old laborer Shaquille Wilson, otherwise called Yam Head, also known also from Days Mountain. Wilson was taken into custody when he reported to the station on condition of bail in a separate matter on June 1st. He is now facing charges of murder, 
possession of prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, using a firearm to commit a felony, burglary, and conspiracy to commit robbery with aggravation in connection with Wheeler's death. His co-accused 20-year-old, Roger Bignall, otherwise called Hellgate, of Blacksmith Lane, Seafort in St. Thomas, and 21-year-old laborer, Miles Beckford, otherwise called Scuba, of a day's mountain address, were slapped with similar charges in April. Reports from the Port Maria police are that about 12.45 a.m., 59-year-old Wheeler was at home with a relative when Wilson and Bignall reportedly locked, kicked open his kitchen door and opened gunfire hitting him. The truck driver received several gunshot wounds before running outside where he collapsed. He was assisted to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Wilson was charged on June 8 after an identification parade. He and his co-accused are set to appear in the St. Mary's Parish Court on June 14. The globe faces a health emergency sparked by non-communicable diseases. There is a concern that more young Jamaicans are dying from such diseases, including cancer. This is why the Caribbean has the highest premature mortality for NCDs, which means more persons are dying younger from such illnesses. The overall statements were made by Director of non communicable diseases and injuries prevention at the health and wellness ministry dr tamu davidson she was speaking at thursday's public forum of the medical association of jamaica 2024 symposium which was held under the theme resilience in health care davidson said the theme was chosen because we are facing a global emergency, and that's of non-communicable diseases. There's no country that's not impacted, and in fact, this is a problem that we are being faced with over a number of years, she pointed out. While there is an aging population, Davidson said there's a high prevalence of the environmental risk factors that are driving NCDs. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.